Cross attention is a mechanism that is very powerful when combining attention across two sequences. It is a key part of the transformer architecture and therefore understanding it is fundamental in modern machine learning. In this video, we're going over the high level workings of cross attention and in the end you will see a compact code implementation of a cross attention layer. This will set you up with a good understanding of the cross attention concept. Without further ado, let's get into it. The topic today is cross attention and right off the bat, here's an example where cross attention plays a role. This is the transformer architecture that a lot of you know, it is from the paper attention is all you need. This is how, for example, you can generate natural language sequences based on inputs. And what you see here in this at multi attention head here is you see attention coming in from the encoder layer, but also parts of the decoder play a role here. And in the paper, this is called encoder decoder attention. We're going to call it cross attention. That's a very common term now. And we're going to look into the details of how to implement it, what it is on a high level. So first of all, if you are not familiar with attention at all, I recommend my previous video. There I go into the details of uh, self attention and how it is implemented. And in this video, we'll kind of build on top of that and like how to use an attention mechanism to uh, achieve something such as cross attention. So we're going to look high level at uh, an attention block and we're going to be calling it multi head attention from here on out. So on the inputs and outputs of that block, nothing has changed. Multi head attention simply means you have multiple attention heads in your attention layer that makes the attention layer more powerful, more complex. And so usually you have more than one attention head. So we're going to call it multi head attention. And as we've seen in the previous video, typically we have three inputs to a multi head attention layer, and that is the query, the key, and the value. And these are individual sequences. And the output of a multi head attention layer is again a sequence. The difference now being that the embeddings in that sequence are changed and they have been impacted by the attention mechanism. And so the sequence pays attention to parts of within itself. So that is on a high level what multi head attention is. Now let us remind ourselves how a sequence is represented. So if we have a sequence of tokens, for example, words in a natural language sequence, uh, but it could be anything, it could be also just, you know, um, a time series of numbers, right? Typically we have these tokens and we have a certain length, a sequence length, let's call it n sequence. And these tokens are embedded, meaning for each of them, we can have an n dimensional vectors. So here I call it n features, that's a dimensionality of the embedding vector for each token. And if we put that together, we have this sequence of embeddings and that gives us a tensor. And if we, what we typically do during training or even doing inference is we pass in an entire batch of these kind of sequences into the model and that opens up a third dimension and batch. And so, in essence, we work with tensors that are of these three dimensions and batch and sequence and and features. And in our multi head attention network, that means each of these sequence inputs become these three dimensional tensors. And what comes out as a sequence is again, this three dimensional tensor and the dimensionality did not change during that process. Now, we've covered the special case of self attention. Uh, in the previous video, self attention is when the query key and value input are all from the same sequence. And now cross attention has one key difference. We have the query coming from another sequence as the uh, key and value input. And that's essentially it. So on the implementation of multi head attention, nothing has changed. It is just what we select as the inputs to 
that multi-head attention layer. Now, what does it mean for our transformer architecture? Where do we see that here? So essentially in that multi-head attention layer, the query input comes from the preceding decoder layers here, whereas the key and value inputs come from the output of the encoder network of the incoming input sequence. Now let's dive into the code. And here is the code. A lot of it builds on top of my previous video, but you can totally follow this because it is one particular module that you have to import and that is multi-head attention. Let me do that. And as we mentioned previously, we have uh, a number of um, basically elements in a batch. So we're just pick that randomly to be 16. Uh, sequence lengths could be much, much longer, or you know, we just pick 20 here, and then the dimensionality of our embedding. And also what we need to define is the number of attention heads we want to add in our attention layer. So this could be also a larger or smaller number. So let's put that into memory. And now let's create an attention layer. So what we feed in is the embedding dimension, the number of heads, and then this flag here is just saying that what we uh, basically it's declaring the order at which we uh, feed in our tensors. So which of the dimensionalities comes first and it's typically I like it to be the batch first. So let's create that multi-head attention module. And here I create two inputs. So x1 and x2 and they are random numbers just for this demonstration of n batch and sequence and n features. So we generate that and we get exactly that, a tensor of these dimensionalities. And now in this cell here, what I'll do is I apply that attention head. And just as we've just covered in the presentation, so x1 is one input that goes to the query and the other input x2 goes to key and value. And now we'll see what the output is. The output is then exactly the same dimensionality. So this is the attention output. The attention output weights, you can also get that from an attention module. Sometimes that's helpful. Now that excludes the actual embedding dimensionality because what it gives you is a, uh, for each uh, batch element, it gives you a square matrix of n sequence uh, times x sequence and that encodes the actual attention of the sequence elements. So with that, that's a small demo. This is how you can implement cross-attention. It really builds on top of you know, what we've previously done on uh, multi-head attention. So hope you found this helpful and hope to see you in the next video.